Earth has a very long and varied history. Long ago, Earth was a vacation spot for many of the Lyrans. All right, many of the Lyrans um, tried to escape some of the Lyran wars and found themselves here on this planet. So when it came time, uh, they, many of them chose to go down into density. They came through uh, Lemuria. Many of those beings were originally from the Lyran star system. And some of them went through a dissension process here. So they started out knowing that they were beings of light. They had full knowledge of that and they did not incarnate into a body. They downgraded their body to play here in this dimension. That was part of what they chose to do. So that was um, started about 450,000 years ago that the Lyrans started to do that. Um, but there have been many, 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 many species who've been here and played here and some that are still here that you are completely unaware of. Some have zero interest in connecting with human beings. Um, some of them live in the depths of your oceans. All right, they have bases there and they work with the aquatic life. Um, you know, there's still parts of your earth that you have not explored. You know, it is, it is a very varied history that you have in terms of interconnection with ETs. And this is all part of the game, all right? This is a game. This is a setup where this dimensional range that you're playing in the 3D version is all about dissension and reascension. Can you forget who you are? Can you play in the game of lack, limitation, and separation and come out of it? And, and that's a very special experience to a soul because none of the other dimensions are like it. You know who you are. And at any given moment, you can project yourself as one that is one with all it is or as a being that is playing separate. But you know you're playing separate. You know the truth of who you are. And as humans, you've forgotten that many times. Or you remember it in the moment, but you can't sustain it. 